Peace and love, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host with the most, Kush Tucker, with my fellow co-host. Mike L., peace and love. And you are now tuned in to feature your favorite podcast. Today's special guest is Get To It Jay and his homie, Big Duke. Yo, <laughs> What's that name? Yeah, What's man. The word? <laughs> Today, Get To It Jay is promoting his new single, Boss Rick Ross. That's not even. Uh, yeah, that's uh, really. <laughs> <laughs> boss that, boss that, yeah. Talk about boss. Designer gon' miss this bitch for She wanna ride with a big boss I got money problems and spinning problems I don't even know what that, that shit, shit called Bitch, I'm a big boss I ride around with <laughs> <and business. laughs> My cousin on the GTL car Trying to figure out I got white hoes Trying to fit in my skin I got love for the lemon pepper hoes I love a bitch with the white toes I love a bitch that's bossed up I love a bitch that got her on Bitch, I'm a boss You gotta get it with me <laughs> Bitch, I'm a boss, you gotta get it with me. Yeah. Designer gon' miss this bitch for him. She wanna ride with a big boss. I got money problems and spinning problems. I don't even know what that is. gonna stop it right there, y'all. If y'all wanna hear the rest, y'all gotta go ahead and download that, man. Feel me? Get Follow that. Get To It J right now, man. Where, where can they reach you at, man? And Get To It J1, man. Tap in. I'm That's on Instagram. It. On Instagram, on everything, for real, for real. It's all the same. You spell it all the same way? For sure, for sure. Yeah. When you plan on releasing that joint, bro? I really don't know right now. It's coming. It's coming along. It's coming, man. It's coming. It's work to it. <laughs> For real. You gonna put a music video with it? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. It's gonna get to it. Like Jay. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this part of an album release or is this just a single? Man, that's good. It might be an album, but I really don't know yet. It's, it's coming in the works, man. That's all I can say for real. I don't even know what to tell a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. You flying by the seat of your pants? Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't yeah. mad. So, no, sometimes it's like that when you create it. It got to be, man. Yeah. You you kind of got it nailed down, but it might be some other shit and you And then it be, like, yeah. it be like, it be other shit that I be wanting to drop too. So it be like, do I drop this or do I drop this? Like, which one do I drop? Like, you know, it just be a time, time set, you know? Well, what's your audience like? Like, when you play, what do most people like? That's what we normally go off of. What are we getting hits on? You know, what? I don't even know yet. I'm still working, bro. I'm still trying to get in the loop for real. You don't be shopping it around with like your cousins or your aunties and nothing like that. Your mama, like, hell yeah. What you think it is, mom? They love it. Hell yeah. Yeah, Because all that counts. But at the same time, I just be feeling like. They gonna love it no matter what. I you know? feel you. I feel, I feel it's they kinda family. like bias. <laughs> yeah, it be like, man. Yeah. It be yeah. like, all right, y'all like it, but who gonna like it on the streets, you know? Yeah. Is the streets gonna like it? Is the streets gonna feel it? That's how I be feeling for real. No, 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 no. You real. got a point there. Sometimes yeah. family will just totally be like, this shit is Yeah, good. hell yeah. My boy right here, he be telling me that shit hard. I be like, yeah, you my nigga, though. Yeah. I know it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay now Duke keep me. it real. Duke yeah, keep it real. Yeah, Duke keep it real. Yeah, Duke I got, got that it. feeling from you anyway, Duke. I got that feeling. Duke That's my dog. Way. That's my partner in crime. You know, that's a royalty name, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh God. So then, what's going? I know you said you still got some stuff in the works, but like, what's the next move? The next move is. It's coming. You <laughs> 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 just got to wait on it, man. So this, is this going to be part of an album? I don't know yet. I really don't know yet, man. I so really how, many, how many songs do you have, like, in the works right now? In the works right now, I got, like, five songs, for real. Okay, okay. so you got, like, an EP yeah, yeah, compromise yeah, 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 then. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. totally, totally. And we in the studio tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a six yeah. song is on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six yeah. on the way. You know that. Yeah, that all counts. It just that be the count. shit with the producers, bro. It don't yeah. be me. It be people taking their time on what they want to take their time on. It be bullshit, you know? Hey, man, you got to kindly get in their ass sometime, man. Especially man. if you're paying. But and then it be like, you you be cool with a nigga and pay. It be like, all right, I'm not going to I'm not gonna get on your ass because I know you a good nigga. You know, I look at you and be like, yeah, you a nah, good nigga. business, man. You want yeah. your shit done in timely fashion, bro. I feel you. Um, you got to set dates. Yeah. yeah. You, you ain't got to set crazy dates. Yeah. But you got to be you like. You can be like, bro, I'm expecting this to be done in two weeks because I'm got i trying to move on to the next thing. And, they yeah. don't care, bro. Then you got to fuck hey, with somebody else. Yeah, that means you got to fuck with someone else yeah, that's more like business else oriented. Who yeah, you right. respect your time. Yeah, hell yeah. Because yeah. time is... Yeah, hell yeah. Because <laughs> time is like... Time and trust is the most real currency. It's nah, the most talk. precious thing. Because you can't get time back. Yeah. yeah you can't. And you can't. trust is hard to get back. Once you, once you spoil the trust, oh, it's hard to build that bridge. Nah, I don't and, even know if you can get trust back. 
I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes you can't return back. Most people don't return back to friendships or relationships after the trust is squandered. Feel me? But it can be. It can work sometimes. But I get it. We don't did it too, so we not talking like ha ha ha. Yeah, nah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we don't be like that though. We don't deal with people that done took the money and ran all that bullshit. They be on bump. You know what I'm saying? But but hey, that's on them. We just move on to the next person. Yeah, yeah. Who, for real. Dependable. The goal is to learn from it fast enough so mm-hmm. you can keep on pushing forward. Like that way, ain't nobody holding up your program. Hell yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Right. The person that you working with and ain't getting your stuff mixed down in a timely fashion, they holding up your program. Now they might not be doing it intentionally, but through their actions, they showing that you're not a priority on yeah, the list. Yeah, hey, doing it right in your face. Like they don't give yeah. a fuck. Oh God. <laughs> oh, no, nah, totally, totally. So have you performed any of your work? Yeah. At, at Open LA store. That's <laughs> right. That's yeah. right. Oh God, hit Say them, again. man. Say go tap in with Say them. Again. Say it again. Open yeah. LA. Go tap in with them, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Great place. Great spot. Yeah. Have you performed this one or which which song have you uh, performed? I I performed another song. I just dropped it. It's on my uh, my last EP that I dropped. Oh God. What's it called? It's called True Story. True Story. Y'all go check yeah. that out too. Go check out True Story. Yeah. Go check out True Story. Yeah. And then what about you, Duke? How how do you fit into this equation? My boy, the reason I rap for <laughs> real, <laughs> like it's COVID. What you was in the class, they they give him like some studio equipment. My boy, he in the house oh, working. Yeah, I come cool. I come over. He making a song. I'm like, let me hop on it. Hey, that's so good. I'm making beats. <laughs> that, making like, beats <laughs> everything. <laughs> So we hop on it first song, and then we just been to it after that. Get to it. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I get to it. <laughs> Sometimes you need that motivation. Yeah, that's when it became the motivation. For real. No, that's real. So you had the equipment, yeah. but he actually said. I had a little iPad. I was on, I was on B-Store. I mean, not B-Store, Band Lab. Uh-huh. God in heaven. I was on Band Lab doing it up. Making beats. So you wasn't rapping yet. You were just making beats at the time. I was making beats. And then I'm like, fuck it. Like, me and my nigga about to hop on the beat. Like, so you the one kind of like, he inspired you, but you inspired him as well. Because yeah. like, you came with the bars, and that inspired you to get with the bars. Yeah, I'm like, oh, he coming hard. Like, I got to <laughs> okay, get <okay>. like him. <laughs> so where can they find some of your work at, Duke? Uh, Band Game Duke on Instagram. Duke just on SoundCloud. I be dropping. Yeah, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him to it, man. He got to get to it. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it out there. Yeah, For real. Yeah. Have y'all made a distro kid yet? Nah. I, I got one. Shit. Make I make don't. a distro kid today, bro. It's easy. My that way you can platform. start getting dropping deciding what music you wanna maybe keep on SoundCloud and maybe take off and drop feel me legitly and start making your money. Cause me myself, I don't know how to make money on SoundCloud. People say you can make your money off with your music on SoundCloud. I just don't. I, ain't I haven't looked no into money it. Off that motherfucker. Me either. I just kind of <laughs> I use SoundCloud to just give people like, yo, this is what I'm doing right now. Like, give people a little sample. Hey. Well, plus it's a, it's a reference place to send them for your music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's how I use. Yeah. it. Almost like a business, like a mu- business card for music or yeah, something totally. like. Totally, totally. Exactly what it is. Totally for business real. card for music, and you need that. You need that. You definitely wouldn't have that. Say, hey, man, hold still while I upload this to you. Yeah. <laughs> People be like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> so then, are y'all going to do an album together? We need to. Yeah, I be playing. I ain't yeah, going to lie. Need, I be playing. Give me this nigga, man. This song me. I be playing. I ain't going to lie. So what's been holding you back? Hey, we man? got all type of shit on SoundCloud. I'm telling y'all. We got all type of shit that we need to fix. All type of shit. We got shit. It's my start I'm organizing you. it. Start yeah. organizing. We got albums in the chamber. We yeah. just be, I'll be playing. Then don't don't work on nothing new. Work on the stuff that y'all kind of yeah, got correct, right now. Correct. The only thing Real about talk. the old stuff, we don't got that. We can't find beats to it. It's all on YouTube beats and stuff like that. That's the only thing about it. Everything else is cool. Like, now, when you say YouTube beats, what you mean? We ain't pay for them, and we can't find them because we found them on YouTube. Just looked them up. You still remember where the music is? Or you don't remember? No, none we of that? don't know. No, I feel you. It. It's just the same thing I be going through. If you don't like that shit or save it and yeah, within your thing, it be hard you to find do, that shit. Cause someone else might have liked that same beat and bought it, and now they didn't take it oh. off of YouTube. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Or it might just be oh. if you can't remember the name of that title. Or whatever, like the type beat it was, well, it'd be hard you, to find what it. What about if you yeah. play it? Hold on, hold on. What about if you play it until you get caught? But now that you've been caught, you can contact the people who caught you and say, "Can I use it?" That's uh, what I usually do. I ain't never did that one, man. That's what I do. <laughs> but I'm thinking, I'm thinking they saying they can't find the beats at all no more. 
like yeah, they gone. Like, so then, therefore, you try not to play it because you don't want to get in trouble. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, through getting in trouble, you might be able to find the contact with the people who own yeah. it and say, "Look, I really just want to. Can I lease it? Can I? What can I do? Can we yeah. BMI it? Right now, you can't even reach them. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, no, nah, totally. Make money together at the end. Well, totally. that's, they might be open to it because that's what's happening now. They might actually say, "You know what? Uh, we really not making no money with this beat. They want to use it. Let's work yeah. something out." But if you can't reach them, you can never do the legal part of it to make sure they get paid. Because it don't sound like you want to take it from them. It sounds like y'all want to legitimately yeah, help, work. you know. Yeah, yeah. Work. Yeah. So they might be open to that is all I'm saying. But if you don't no, ever play will. it, you can't never discover who they are. Yeah, you're not lying, though. We but, just, I don't know. We ain't got no manager for all that. We ain't trying to do all that paperwork for ourselves. I feel you. But I give you. <laughs> look. look. Today only I give you permission to break the law. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, can you feel it? Just yeah, I, feel mm, it. Yeah, I give you permission. Yeah, get to it. He said yeah. today. Just today. <laughs> just today. Get to it. Just today. You get a freebie on Friday. Friday. <laughs> you get a freebie. Freebie on. Friday. Freebie Friday. Sorry. Freestyle Friday. <laughs> hey, that's crazy because my boy was just talking about hey, he a bunch of freestyle. <laughs> Go ahead, take us down, take us down. I was just talking though. <laughs> my freestyles, I don't really what kind, of, what kind of beat you want? Nah, he he cool, he cool. Uh, what kind of beat you Find want? Find the beat right now. <laughs> Find the beat right now. <laughs> to the beat. This is featured, man. We can do whatever fuck we want. Yeah, yeah. Nah, we cool. <laughs> <right now. laughs> We can do whatever we want to do. Uh, we can have the cipher and get hyper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They try to get us in the loop. <laughs> yeah. Stick them. Ha ha. Stick them. Stick them. <laughs> That's better. We can take you back to the 80s. Nah. You can come up to the 90s. I don't fuck with the 90s. You fuck with the 90s? Yeah, I fuck with the 90s. Uh. Mm. Mm. Let me flow right here too. This is me. Hey. Uh. <laughs> uh. See, I probably give you more bars. <laughs> <laughs> Driving so fun? damn fast, I didn't blame the cool. Yeah, yeah. Pull up. Damn. Oh, Keep going. No. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Pull up, me. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Hey. Pull yeah. up with my nigga yeah. Jay. That's a two yeah. on two. Hey. He gonna uh-huh. pull it up to me. I'm gonna dunk the oop. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know right now. I ain't in that mode. I'm sitting back like I'm him in a coat. Yeah. Wanna see me in a fruit? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm talking that <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh, I might need that beat, though. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't hey, like, I only seen the him off his shirt right there. That's why I said I'm mean. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's still good, fella. Shit, that's still good. Yeah, you popping in. Uh. Regular. Uh. Pulling up in the coop, like what's the scope? Oh. Nigga, what it do? With get to it, J oh. and Duke. <laughs> Bitch, you know Swayze Blue, and we counting hella loot. Blue revenue, <laughs> pink 50s, make a take off them pink panties too. Victoria's oh. Secret, and I'm chilling <laughs> with your boo. She finna give her all the secrets to Swayze Blue. Yeah. Uh. Fucking uh. Swayze there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We can freestyle in here, y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah they said we freebie Friday. <laughs> freebie Friday. Freebie Friday. <laughs> Freaky Friday. <laughs> you know? Yeah, she want to freak me on Friday. She want to smoke like Friday. She want to get fried every Friday. <laughs> Eat fried chicken and Kool Aid on Friday. Hey, you know, it's crazy because the nigga really do be freestyling the whole time and nigga in the booth for real. I'll send you that though for real. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. that's a good. That's a that's a good like warm up beat. Like if you're a boxer, you yeah, warm up. It's a good warm up for sure. It do. It kind of sound like yeah. that. Give you that feeling. Like, yeah, you, you, that get bounce, you get that. Like, you got the hoodie on. <laughs> y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gonna kill it. <laughs> no, nah, for real. Get up, go out there and get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, though, I can't lie, though. I, I really did enjoy your lyrics and your song, yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, it yeah, man. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. The, oh, it's so good, man. We, we, in fact, we added some good shit onto it, man. Yeah, at, at we, the end. At the end. I was like, nigga, this that gutter butter. This is that gutter yeah. butter, nigga. <laughs> that shit's gutter butter, nigga. It's that, that gutter butter. 
Nah, totally, totally. That shit, that's that shit for the streets, though. Yeah, yeah totally. It was raw. Real. It's it was raw. No, nah, it was really raw. And I like hearing really raw music. Oh, God. But you can't mistake that shit. No, you, you can't. Know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, nigga, that's here. That's, that's here. here. That's here. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> for real. You feel it in your bones. Yeah, we bumped it all the way over here to the podcast. Oh, me. <laughs> we I was like, no, nigga, replay that shit. Yeah, yeah. we kept playing it. <laughs> playing it. We, we started making our own. Which one y'all was listening to? This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Boss Rick Ross, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Boss Rick Ross. Nigga, wow. That shit, yeah. Yeah, that shit was good. We buffed that all the way down to 110. I was like, bro, I, my favorite part, my favorite part is, um, I got money problems and spending problems. I don't know what that shit costs. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I was like, bro, I was like, there's two things that don't mix, but I love the way that shit sounds. I was like, nigga, that shit is hard. Yeah, nigga. Money problems and spending problems. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. I was like, I was like, that, that was like, sound like a nigga that's making five hundred grand a fucking every two weeks. <laughs> just, but it's counseling negative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Counseling negative. counseling negative, nigga. He's like, yeah, oh, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. But Maybe I'm gonna make it back. It don't yeah, matter. It don't I'm matter. But you want the Louis? Baby. Yeah. Get in it with me. Yeah. 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 Walk to the car with it. <laughs> I'm gonna stand at the register while you walk to the car. <laughs> but we're gonna get it. You know, no, for real. Nah, nah, it's good. Good song, man. Yeah. Good song. Yeah. Like I said, we it woke our morning up. Yeah, yeah. You know, we do this hey, every Friday. So. In that one bar, I got white bitch trying to fit into my schedule. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah, I said I got, I got, I got love for the lemon pepper hoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, for I, sure. I, hey, that was my question, nigga. What's a lemon pepper? Man, hole? the hoes that got the white toes and they eat the lemon peppers, man. <laughs> 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 I would be looking for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. A whole lot of them too, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, so, because we both was like, nigga, what's lemon pepper hoes? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was loving it too. I was like. Is that a is that a bitch that you make? Like yeah, you gotta sprinkle her with some lemon peppers, you know? What I'm saying? Nah, that's funny. Does she you gotta season out? her up a little bit. You feel yeah, me? you gotta season her up a little bit. You know? yeah. nah, Put nah. her in that drip. Give her some game. Yeah, yeah. give her some game. <laughs> no, nah, that was no, nah, that one that one right there got us. Yeah, that one yeah, right there yeah. got us. I said I'm gonna ask him on the show what's lemon pepper holes. Mm-hmm. Oh God! And then I just made that shit up too. I ain't gonna lie. It was just some. It was a real thought, real fast. Like, fuck, what could I say? But man? that's always what's good yeah. because then yeah, yeah. I'm your audience. I'm listening to you, and now I want to know more about the song. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You feel yeah, like, like, right. what's that mean? You're right. You're you right. know what I'm saying? What's that mean? The main mean? thing that people miss nowadays, bro, is being unique. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People, yeah, being they authentic. Motherfuckers don't know how to be they self. Be they yeah, self. Bro. Be your authentic self. As long as yeah. you're doing that, bro, you winning. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta be yourself. So like, people gonna hear that, hear that lyric in that song, they gonna be like, same thing like this, asking questions and. Hold up, nigga. What's that lingo? Yeah, what's like, that? Got, what's that got? I ain't never heard nobody say that. Like, yeah, what's well, that mean? Well, see, next time I'm at a restaurant or or somewhere that serves that type of meal, I'm gonna be looking for the toenails. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm looking for the women with the yeah. sundresses and the white toes. I'm looking for that shit, man. You gotta hit up. You gotta hit up. Uh, what's that place? Uh, L.A. Cafe. Okay. Okay. I mean, not L.A. Cafe. What's the name of that shit? Hot Wing Cafe. Hot, Hot Wing Cafe. Yeah. Okay. Where okay. they at? They on Melrose. On Melrose, okay. On everything. All right, bro. We gonna we gonna make Hot that one. Cafe. In fact, yeah. we pr- we should all probably go up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not for you sure. Got the lemon pepper too. joints. Yeah, they got the boneless. I don't eat chicken with the bone. They got boneless wings. <laughs> oh, you only do strips? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. That's crazy, man. You the first person I ever heard of ever just. I be I trying to. Do strips. I be trying to go vegan. No cap. Fuck <laughs> me, shit. Yeah. Oh, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's difficult though, man. Why you even thinking about going vegan? Because that shit bullshit out there, bro. It nah, I feel, nah, it is. It's I just biscuit. wanted to ask him though, like, feel nah, me? They out there serving rubber biscuits. Yeah, nah, it is, man. Anything. Hey, once you quit it though, just do it for like two, three weeks, bro. Test it out with your body, and you'll see the difference. You try to go back yeah. to it. It's gonna take. I wouldn't off. even. I wouldn't even try to go back to it because I'd be so tired of looking at that shit already. I'd be like, ugh, like what the fuck is that already? You know, it's yeah. little shit. Seen yeah. somebody had bought a. I think it was Jack in the Box. And she opened up the burgers, only took one bite. And something she said, like something told me to open up the burger and look at it. And she opened it up and it was maggots and stuff like in the Ever. middle. I'll be I'll right in the middle up. of the burger. I'll sue they ass. And I was like, damn, man, you probably still ate a little maggot or two. She yeah. ate one. For sure. She yeah. for sure. She did. She probably felt one crawling in her mouth. That's why she was like, let me lift, lift the burger up. That's what uh, she didn't want to say on camera. Because so yeah. it was already a bite movie? ticking out of it. She was like, yeah. you know, hey, watch the lettuce movie. This shit post-sating. Why the lettuce movie? <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be post-sating. 
Now, We've seen I, this I've Asian people. A few times though, the vegan, yeah. the, the the the. I would say maybe try veggie first. Fruititarian, just eat yeah. so, so some fruit, bro. No, nah, he ain't lying about a plenty of fruit. Go yeah. just buy some fruit. Your favorite fruit. Lock in with your favorite fruit. Just eat the shit out of it. Eat the shit. Eat the shit out of that. Every time you think about getting a burger and fries or something unhealthy, be like, know what? I got watermelon at the house, so I'm just gonna pull over, go buy my favorite apples or. Grapes, tell me, bro, you feel way better. You eat, uh, you eat two Fuji apples, you won't eat no burgers and fries. You said what? Two Fuji apples, and you will not eat no burgers and yeah, fries. Yeah, you and I want that shit. Drink a little water first, eat like two Fuji apples. First of all, you're going to get energy from it. It's got electricity. And then second of all, you're just going to feel good because mm-hmm. of the water that's in it because fruit yeah, got real water. Yeah, Free, yeah. Real water, you're supposed to put a little bit of salt in your mouth before you drink a bottle of water like this. Mm. You're supposed to put like a little nugget, like a little crystal of like Celtic sea salt and then drink. Because the salt allows you to absorb the water properly. Mm-hmm. The water's dead in this shit. This dead water, bro. You learn something new every day. Even though they're saying it's spring water. Nah, it, it ain't moving. Real water's moving. When they bottle it and it sits still, it dies. It loses the electrical charge from movement. Oh, so man. you know what I'm saying. So, <laughs> no, yeah. Not for real. For real. I, I didn't make none of this up. I just happened to start following some shit on TikTok, and then I start finding people recommend little books. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, for real? Yeah, you find out a lot of stuff on the internet, for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so. yeah. You just got to look. If you, into, if you into it, you could find out about it, for sure. No, that's real. That's the main part. If you into it, I feel like the internet only shows you, like, that Instagram shit only shows you, like, whatever you focused on. Yeah, they do. As soon as you change your focus, your fo- like, the, your shit that you get, on your scrolling shit to change, I swear to God. Well, it's an algorithm. Yeah. When I used to be more into like just seeing like just dumb shit on Instagram, mm-hmm. that's all I would get. I get see like feel me cartels chopping off people's heads, all type of crazy shit. shit, car accidents, motherfucking you know black people and Mexicans getting into fights on the streets and feel me. You change your consciousness to looking at for like quantum physics and shit like that and history and feel me. Now I start seeing that shit. I'm like, okay. I feel you. I feel uh, you. you I've grabbed, I've, I've, it feeds you what you really want to see. Yeah, yeah you know. It feeds you more of what you already seeing. You're not yeah. lying. It's almost like it's damn near like they figured out how to make an algorithm that simulates the simulation, that simulates life. Because that's all life gives you too. Like whatever you focused on, life is gonna give you more of that. Well, you know. So if you focused on gangster shit, pimps, you drug dealing, more, that, you that's you gonna get more of that shit. in your you know life and whatever yeah. come with that. No, nah, totally, totally. No, no, no. <laughs> now, whatever you feed in your mind, that's what yeah, you're gonna get. Yeah. You know, you heard the story about the two wolves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's two wolves, and like one is fear and one is love, and it's like they're both in you. Yeah. And the little boy asked grandfather, "Well, how do you? Which one gets stronger?" He said, "The one you feed." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you feed, yeah, the, the one you feed, feed the, the most, one, <laughs> that one gonna get stronger. Yeah, you feed, you feed your fear. One, yeah. That one's gonna get. So it's fear and love. Them the only two choices in life. Yeah, not totally. So when I approach people, I love everybody. So <laughs> you'll, hear me, yeah. you'll hear me say peace and love. I mean that. Yeah, because there's only two emotions: fear and love. Yeah. So I don't want to fear nobody. I did that shit all know. You, you know, even the fear in God. Like I, I be hearing people like, I don't fear nobody but God. Like, but God don't even want you to fear it because God unconditional yeah. love. Yeah, yeah. Totally. God don't rock with fear, though it created it. It created it for lessons. Well, what would this experience be like if you just didn't care? Yeah, fear, fear, <laughs> if you had no caution. Yeah, fear allows you to say, "Well, nah, maybe I don't want to go to the edge of the cliff <laughs> and fall over." Yeah, you know, say so without that parameter, a motherfucker just ah, <laughs> not for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not lying though. Nah, so it, it's got its place, but I think it can go overboard where you yeah, fearing sure. too much. For yeah, sure. and so you, it's stopping your action. It's stopping you from. Anytime I hear myself say, "Oh, well, you know, man, I just can't do that." That's fear. Yeah, and I'm only speaking on me. So that's how I learned. I start saying, what's my fears? And I say, anything I tell myself I can't do. Yep, anything yep. you say. You can't, you can't do. So I watch my language yeah. now with that to, like, regulate myself. And I still do it because you've been trained so long to so think about can't. Well, we focus on limitations. <clears throat> what if I focused on my expansion? Limitless. Yeah. So I'm focusing on my limitations. I don't, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. Nah, you're not lying, though. You get what you I'm tell saying? Yourself the right thing and you're gonna be on so the that's the them two wolves again. There's, Hell yeah. there's unlimited potential and there's limited potential. I'm talking to the wolf of limited potential when I say I can't. Yeah, for sure. And I could easily look at the wolf of unlimited potential and just keep talking to him. Hey, bro, what could we do? <laughs> what yeah. yeah. can we happening? get rolling? Knock like, this out the park. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because we've got. One big booty and ten men on each side, uh, <laughs> and they still, still can't, can't lift, lift it. it. <laughs> <laughs> they, still can't. they still can't lift it. But but, but that's for another session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for next Friday. <laughs> that's for next Friday. <laughs> yeah. 
So no, nah, <laughs> no, nah, you got to keep pushing that way. Nah, upward or forward. Stay positive for sure. No, nah, for real. No, nah, no, nah, nah, that's key. That's yeah. key. Now, especially if you're a creative. Yeah. If you want to make music or beats or any of that, mm-hmm. animation, film, it's not a nine to five type thing. It's not. Hell so yeah. you got to figure out, even if you're still working a nine to five, how you're going to make all of this eventually support you mm-hmm. so that you can move fully into that realization. When I'm, if, if you are get a chance, read the book, You Squared. You Squared. You Squared. It's a nice book, too, man. It's like. 40 pages bro oh, sure. I, don't, I try not to mess with 300 page books they normally full of yeah, fluff I don't be doing all that you know because normally the publishers make people write books really thick to sell mm-hmm. them for 20 yeah. bucks but to me this book is worth 20 bucks and it's only like 40 pages long that's what's up but he get I to the he, like well he get to the meat of it he's constantly telling you that in order for you to have a breakthrough you gotta take risk and you gotta mostly you gotta see the outcome you want like, in other words, normally we try to figure out all the middle spaces, the how-to. But you ain't never done that shit before, so how could yeah, you know the how-to? You don't, yeah. gotta, you don't even got to think like that because it's, you don't know. You don't know. Oh, so then that's the part that makes you take a bunch of crazy steps that wasn't necessary. But if you constantly just focus on what's the end goal, what's the true thing I want to see come out at the end of this? Mm-hmm. On the other side, on the right side of the equal sign, what do you want to see? Then what happens is you keep visualizing that as often as possible, two, three times a day. It ain't no limit on it. It's your dream. Yeah. You can look at that shit as many times as you want. And then the answers of what you should do start forming in between the jump of you being yeah. who you it's are here fall in place. to who, where you want to get to, to it's the end goal. Fall in place for you. And it's less wasted time, but the book tells you it will make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> because you not you don't normally do this. Normally, yeah. normally we fake it till we make it. Nah, totally. But that could be a big waste of time. Man, in a lot order of, to grow, you gotta get uncomfortable. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you're not lying. You gotta step out your, outside your comfort zone. Hell yeah. Totally. So you gotta do something different. Yeah. You, you gotta, you gotta feel like you're taking a risk. Yes. And the more often you can do this, is what the book says, the more often you can be comfortable with taking these risks, you'll start to see shit take off in a mm-hmm. quantum level. Because mm-hmm. that's why it's you squared. So technically, it's you times you. That's hard. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, get what I'm like saying. That. So yeah, now it was a good book, man. Like I said, forty pages. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I've read it twice already because only forty pages. Yeah, I like that. You I know, feel you Let something that it. you can gloss <laughs> over. <laughs> you can gloss over it a few times and really get the information out of it. Yeah, because normally, who's gonna read three hundred pages twice, bro? I'm Nobody. Not, forty I pages, and you can I read that read shit. I ain't read the whole Bible yet, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. I, w- I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's already taken care of. Yeah. God got that one. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of pages, man. I don't read it twice. Yeah, I done that's read it three times yeah. growing up, and I still don't remember everything out of it. It's just too but, many pages. Yeah, it's way too many pages. And they, they, it's so many pages, they've taken some out. It is still too many pages. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they, <laughs> like, yeah. That's they, not even cool. Nah, they was like, we're going to take some info out. Yeah, the, we don't need y'all to know yeah. about that. They're talking the, about the Old Testament and the New Testament. <laughs> no, 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 no. In, in the Old Testament, you missing the book of Enoch. Yeah. you missing the books of Moses. And it's, uh, I think it might be the Apocrypha. But you missing other books. I ain't books. never heard of that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's why. They it's did it's good not job. in the new book. Yeah, they did a good they job. They revised shit you know. so much. They feel me? After like a 50 year span, who gonna know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, once a certain generation of people die complaining, they changed the book, no one's listening anymore. Yeah. yeah then they remove lying. all those old books off the shelf, make it harder to find. Feel me? Yeah. Have you ever seen this movie um, called Fahrenheit 451? Nah. Yeah, I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Fahrenheit it's a, 451. It's a TV show as well. Um, Michael B. Jordan played the main character in it. Mm-hmm. But before it was a TV series or a movie, it was a book. You know, and in the book is basically about a dystopia future where they basically were removing knowledge and nobody knows that they're removing knowledge. And in the future, no one's allowed to read books at all. What? Like everything's pictures. Yeah. No words in it. So it's like, dang, how the fuck is niggas even learning to know how to talk? It's just going off of like this. Like, feel me? No one's teaching you anything. You just listen to someone growing up. You listen to your parents talk and that's whatever language yeah, that's you, learn. you learn. That's how you learn from just sight. Feel me? In, in action but in the movie it's illegal to have books so one of the dudes that's like feel me hired as a firefighter but they don't really put out fires they cause fires and they set fires to people books feel me that have books illegally and they spot like that's crazy yeah. but he's watch. called yeah. a firefighter yeah <laughs> yeah but he doesn't know what a firefighter is yeah like for real until like 
this woman, you know, gives him, feel me, like the knowledge. Feel me, start showing the yeah. books like with words in it. And he's like, oh shit, feel me, and like, it expands oh, his it world. Really is more to this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. But yeah, I saw it. I saw the one with Michael B. Jordan. That was the movie. I didn't, I didn't read the book. That. Yeah, no, I read I the book first it. in high school. They gave it to me in um, English class. Yeah. But the movie was good. I, I found thought the movie. So if, I don't. I don't know the book. I can't say which one's better. He could. Mm-hmm. I mean, books is always better in my opinion because it's gonna be more detailed. Well, your imagination comes into play. Yeah, and yeah, yo, your imagination. Yeah. You can view you the world, to, yeah. the characters, however you want to view them. Yeah, totally. So your imagination has to come into play when you read. So I'm an avid reader. So when I tell you I don't want to read a 300 page book, it ain't because I don't have a mind to do it. It's just it's too many fucking pages, yeah. man. I yeah, but if it's a story, I don't mind. But if it's like information wise, no, I, I agree with you. Like, who wants to? Yeah, let's get to the information let's get already. To the information. Like, let's get straight to the point. Yeah. yeah, what I got to do to get this done to get the yeah. results yeah. I want to get. I don't want to read the history of yoga to do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't need to know. Yeah, all I don't need to know all of that. <laughs> I mean, you know, no. This stretch came from. <laughs> <laughs> tell me the stretch The year 505 Well like, show me how to do it And tell me what it's supposed to benefit And what I'm supposed to look for That way I yeah, can get that's it. That way I can get cracking Whatever yeah. it's supposed to bring out of me If it works It'll bring it out of me mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying But if I'm reading 300 pages When do I get to the exercise? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for real if, if I go as far as say Man I won't I won't mess with a book That doesn't tell you Something to do like, it's got to give me a breathing exercise, something to do in real life. Yeah, yeah. If it's just some man or woman who tells me a philosophy for 300 pages, I'm highly upset. Yeah, I don't want to. I might ask for a discount. Like, bro, can I send that back? Because oh, you, you gave me opinions. If there's nothing in this I can use. Because <laughs> I want to use some shit. You know, everything. You're trying yeah. to get more power. All of us want more power. I know I want more power and shit. Nah, yeah. facts. So everything yeah. I'm doing, I want it to make me more powerful. You that way I can mind. make more money. I can make make more friends. You know, generate oh, more God. power. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so he got me wrapped up in 300 pages and like 20 of them mean something. Hell yeah. Uh, 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 like 20 of them. <laughs> <Yo, God. laughs> yeah, 20, 20 out of 300. Yeah, that's, that's a man. lot. That's a yeah, lot. That's from not it. I ain't trying to read all that. Hell no yeah. reason. You weeding through a whole lot of bullshit. You know. So how many songs y'all got together? Compromise. That might be the album. Uh, yeah. Three of them. Y'all got three songs together? Nah, three albums. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all got three albums worth of songs. Of song. We got a lot of songs. We just don't be dropping, so it's all in the chamber. Y'all got any cover work, like artwork to go with it? No cover work. No nothing. So like those are steps y'all should start working towards like, next. The only thing that we got since, that's cover since y'all got the music on lock, because I've been in this position before. Yeah. Feel me? Because I got a lot of shit in, in the chamber. You got to start working on the other stuff now. Yeah. Feel me? Start working on the cover art, feel me, visuals, thinking about, like, feel me, organizing, just sit down with each other, smoke a blunt one day, man, listen to hey, all y'all music. speak to Duke, man. It's speak all, to Duke. He's talking to me. I'm listening. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm talking to both of y'all, feel no, me? I hear you, but Sit there, smoke a blunt one day. Y'all can do it today. Yeah, talk. Feel me? Or after talk. y'all studio session tomorrow. You say you got a studio session tomorrow, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So y'all could do it either before or after y'all studio session, sit and listen to all the music that y'all already got done. And that y'all like, and y'all willing to put out, feel me? That's the only way you're gonna know what you like is if y'all sit down together. I'll be ready to drop all that shit. Duke be the one playing, huh? All that shit ready to go and hot. Duke, are you holding <laughs> back the gateways of riches? Yes. Riches. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, yeah. I, are you holding I, back the pearly like, gates? I be feeling like everything needs to be better. That's what sign are you, Duke? I'm a Pisces. Okay, yeah. Water signs can be. Really serious about this stuff. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You real perfectionist. I'm Aquarius though. You an air sign. Yeah, you an air sign. So, so you, know. you like that's why you like you going at the seat of your pants. Yeah, it's free. It's yeah, free. So free. Yeah, yeah. yeah you exp- air, I'm an air sign too. So air, air is expansive. So you feel a different thing. Water collectivized. Oh my god. And then, and then <laughs> yeah, water's collect. Remember, we always above water, you know like that? around it. If you look at how the sea and the sky come together, mm-hmm. but we don't really mix, other than the fact that there's a, some a certain amount of oxygen and mm-hmm. water. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So that's why we yeah. vibe with water signs because they got oxygen in them. But water signs is like deep people. Yeah, they cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 totally, totally, totally. They cool. Totally. So they, they, they hard for change, too. So you got to know that since he's your partner. 
Yeah. So yeah, they hard for change. Water signs would be like, yeah, yeah, I hear you, bro, but I don't know about that yet. <laughs> like, I don't be making no money off of it, so I don't want to <laughs> keep putting more money into it. I be feeling like I'm wasting money. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga always some hey, fuck right. Hey, I feel the same way too, bro. But it's a journey, bro. You gotta just fall in love with the process. Like it's gonna pay off. Cause it took me a while to get to this point to be doing this shit with, right here with y'all. I've been doing. I'm 32. Or I'll be 32. I've been doing this shit since I was like 19. Hell yeah, you got to put in the footwork. Yeah, bro. You know, you I used to feel the same. I could have been further along if I didn't feel like if I didn't feel like I was wasting money on myself instead of it's being an investment. investment. So you got to change your perspective on it. Just you got to see yourself as an investment, bro. Like if you gonna bet on anybody, who you gonna bet on? For sure. Now you got you? to bet on, hey, you got bet on yourself, bro. You got the wasted money wolf. And you got the investment wolf. Yeah. Oh you know God. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah. yeah. So just yeah. move away from I'm wasting money wolf, and I'm investing in Duke. Yeah. And what I'm doing wolf, and feed that wolf, and then you'll feel differently about it because yeah. the new information you'll be just looking at to. it differently. No, nah, totally. Yeah. Next thing you know, marketing will look interesting to you. Everything. Like, yeah, because yeah. if you start going in a certain you direction. You'll be like, bro, you going to look at it how I look at it now. Like, man, shit only going to get done if you get it done. That's real. This one girl from Chicago told me, she was like, don't shit shake till I move it. You're not, she not lying. <laughs> <laughs> Shy town she, she was like, don't shit shake till I move it. And I was like, I feel you on that, sweetie. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Get it popping there. You know, totally. Like, got to get cracking. That little so. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should let you know you got to get cracking. Everything on you. Yeah, no, nah, totally. And, mm-hmm. and and it's a build up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So since you do have such a nice library of music, pick through the ones. And once again, y'all might already have two, three albums. Yeah. Like he's saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Probably do though for sure. And then find a, certain songs that's your newer ones you made that you want to feature or put out front mm-hmm. to your to your audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then bring the rest of it along. Hell yeah. You get uh-huh. what I'm saying. So and that's just really like you said, taking out the details. Do your BMIs. Do your cover art. Start putting all that together. Shit. Cover art could be done tomorrow too. While y'all in the studio, y'all, y'all can take pictures in the studio and use one of those for the cover oh. of y'all single or oh, album. And that's exactly what we be doing too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it, it, one thing I'm finding, and test this out and let me know, a lot of shit is already around you. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. So, you think you got to go off to fucking Egypt to get some shit, and yeah, the truth is, man. Done. You just got to walk outside the door. And yeah. yeah. It might already be in your phone. Yeah. It might already be on your desk. Mm-hmm. Like, you might have collected it six months, a year or two ago. Oh, God. But, but you don't think of it that way because you might not mm-hmm. be giving yourself the power. Yeah, in the time. To say, you know what? Yeah. What do I already have in the arsenal? Mm-hmm. What do I trust that's that I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? But th- that, lying, that's though. new territory for us, for all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, it is. Just seeing what our, what you already blessed with. Mm-hmm. You know, already and that's part of being face. grateful. Yeah, being grateful like for what you already got right there in front of your face. You be like, okay, this is what I got to work with. I got plenty then. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, a connection could be a phone call away through another person. You're not lying. You feel me? And, and and money isn't always that the the money isn't always the roadblock. I've made it sometimes, but then later on, I might talk with one of my friends or someone I do business with, and they might have been like, "Well, Mike, you you do all kinds of construction work. I would have traded you that five hundred dollars in cash for this." Yeah, like you know, would you have put in a countertop for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So no, you facts. might want to talk with people and find out what skills they have, because mm-hmm. then y'all might be able to trade off skills. You know what I'm saying? They might be able to come over and help me paint. Sure, why not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, paint this, and then we're going to deduct this from that. And then now you're still moving forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That way, if you don't have cash at your disposal, that doesn't inhibit you. From getting the job done. You know done. what I'm saying? Okay. That's, That's why forward. networking is the best thing to do. Yeah, it's key, man. Yeah, totally. Totally. You know, that that was barter. Barter been here longer since than anything. Yeah. People have been doing barter for a long time. So you never know. Just because a guy's in a... Uh, uh, five hundred Mercedes, and yeah, and you live up in the hills. In yeah, he might he might be credit rich, and he might be asset rich, but he might not be cash rich. Or yeah. he might he might be like, you know what? I want to. I got thirty thousand in the bank, but I really don't want to touch that right now. Instead, can we do it this way? Yeah, for so, sure. So make those make those uh, type of options available. Hey man, you got something you want to barter instead? That's what we learned, and we starting to do that now. Hey, you want to barter? You know, what I'm saying? and sometimes people do, sometimes they don't. But the more you say it. The more you get used to it. 
Yeah. Shit, uh-huh. man. I seen seen a cat the other day, man. He had some watermelon. I traded him a tangerine for some watermelon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, you want you want a tangerine? I was like, I get some of your watermelon. He was like, for sure, fuck it. Oh god. Yeah, so you know, and that and that's important because exchange is really all that's ever happening. Yeah, instead of like you know you trying to be like, can I just get some of your watermelon? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what you got to yeah. give me? <laughs> no, yeah. no, totally. I mean, totally. I mean, some people offer like money though, but like he's saying, like I be trying to move out of that instead of being like, man, let me give you three dollars for a couple pieces of watermelon. I'm like, shit, nigga, let me just give you some fruit for fruit. Man, I got some fruit on me. Well, because money's a currency, which means it's an electrical charge, but sometimes it can be a disconnect. Because nice. you'll think about a project you want to do, but then you'll be like, oh, it costs this much. So right then and there, you're thinking you shouldn't go forward with the project. Mm-hmm. That's an electrical mm-hmm. disconnect. Mm-hmm. So how Because you're like, I ain't got that right now. Yeah, so how do you get past that disconnect? You get what I'm saying? And part of it is what we talked about earlier, the focus of what it is you want on the other side of that equal sign. What's mm-hmm. the end result? So that you just start pulling on your mental energies from the end result instead of the how tos. But then another another way too is to change, how can I say, uh, mental focus on what you what you're looking at. For sure. So now if you say I'm willing to barter with somebody, then what happens is in your network, everyone won't barter, but whoever will, then you know you can fuck with them two times. You can mess with them for cash, but you can mess with them for barter too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dos, dos multiplier. Because <laughs> you want that. You want those options. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. And the way the economy's going, it's going to be necessary. Yes, sir. It's going to be necessary. They, they printed $9 trillion, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> they printed $9 trillion of fiat currency. Just recently? That was for the COVID. Oh, damn. Nine trillion dollars, bro. I, I don't really believe it's that much money. I believe that's credit issue. Yeah. You know, but I wasn't there at the printing, so hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They forgot my invite. <laughs> uh, I they forgot my invite. Mail. You know, but so <laughs> all of that creates inflation every time they print more money. More money. There's yeah. no gold back and then it's none of that. Damn, is it like enough children being born? Is that mean children? Or like, they, at this point, they said, fuck it, because at first I thought they were just printing out a million dollars for every baby being born. Well, it's 10. $10 million for yeah. every baby. So every time a baby's born, they supposedly uh, put $10 million in the circulation. Okay. That way you have enough money in circulation as you go through your life. Uh, they don't give a fuck about us. Well, they, well, <laughs> well, they, 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 they do. don't really care about us. They do, but they don't. It's, it's, it's a paradox. They need you here because without you, there's no wealth. Yeah, the money's not printed till a baby's born, mm-hmm. so you are important. You are the value, but the way we're structured to think about ourselves is we think of money as the value. Yeah, so it's misplaced. the The focus is misplaced. Mm-hmm. You know, nah, it is. So how do we get that back in in line? Yeah, like Nip said, <laughs> you feel detached me? us. <laughs> you said what? I said like Nip said in that one song, "Who detached us?" Yeah, you know, yeah, who detached totally. us from our values. Yeah, yeah, totally. And our value. Yeah, totally. You know? <laughs> so then, then that's like a, it's something we have to think our way through. Yeah. And then with us as artists, we have to think about it double time. Because once again, it's not a nine to five. It's not. You yeah. know? And you still need your teeth clean. <laughs> For sure. But what makes it, what <laughs> makes it the a guarantee doctor. is once you start learning marketing. Because everything is numbers. You can't escape that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get into right now. So once you figure out, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all should take a break. Y'all got like three albums worth of music. Focus on how to make the money off that music now that y'all got made. And Duke gonna stop saying fuck rap because we gonna get rich <laughs> off this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you be in and out, Duke. Yeah. <laughs> you be in and out. Duke. I be saying it in the songs. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I like that shit, though. That's controversy. Yeah. We, we watching brother fight straight through some shit. I'm gonna make it, but motherfuckers, it better be good. <laughs> <laughs> y'all better start <laughs> listening right yeah. now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that kind of remind me of, like, what's his name? He's kind of uh, rap like that. What's his name? Rio. Oh, yeah. He used to say, fuck rap, but I'm not a rapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, ODB used to say the same thing, too. For real, ODB used to say this Yeah, he's, I'm not a rapper. What he used to say he is. He was a lounge singer. Oh, I ain't a rapper. I'm a philosopher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spitting poetry. You know what I'm saying? Get taken out by <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nigga. So, now nah, it's out there, man. It's out there. It's out there. Keep having fun, dude. 
Cause you gotta have fun. Yeah, you got you gotta have fun. I feel your inspiration. I feel your power. You just gotta allow yourself to have fun, and not care about what the, like the in betweens. Like I understand, like a job, you you work at forty hours, you get paid this Friday. Yep. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's little guy. <laughs> he said, "Yep, yeah. uh, it's, uh, you know what so, to yeah. look on for too. So the I, money on time." I, I get where he's coming from. He like, look, man, I, I got to see something a little more guaranteed. I'm having fun, but I'm not getting the money, and that's part of the fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exactly how he be feeling. Yeah, you know, so I, I feel where he at. I'm very practical, bro. So he's really the more dream person. You get what yeah. I'm saying? He the dream person. So I, truthfully, I fly on his dream. You get what I'm saying? I fly on his dream. It, ain't, it, it oh, is my God. dream now. But initially, it was just he was like, "Hey, man, I want to do this, do that," and I'm a person who. That's I'm a, how I got him, though. Yeah, I'm. A, but I'm an air sign, so with a, yeah. you need air to breathe, nigga. I keep telling. <laughs> I <you>. know. <laughs> air to breathe, niggas yeah. ain't hearing it. Nah, air yeah. signs definitely um will pump some air and some life into um your endeavors, man. I'm Be high. tight with y'all air signs out there. You got Aquarius, <laughs> yeah. a Gemini, or a Libra. You treat them right. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Because we love breathing Be life. Nice to them. You talk nice to them. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you can go days without water, but you can only go seconds, seconds without, without air. air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seconds. Seconds without air, baby. So yeah. if you got a good air sign in your life, treat him right. No, for treat sure. Him right. Treat her right. Treat him right. You know yeah. What I'm saying? So, yeah. Now, nah, now, nah, and that's important. See, we mix astrology in everything we do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that we understand vibes better. So yep. when I'm around water signs, I know a certain shit they put up with, certain shit they don't. I don't do none of that shit. <laughs> yeah, because I want to get with them. I want to totally. Yeah. I want it to be successful. So if I know this don't work with that particular astrology, why would I do it? Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And if I see other signs who don't know, that's why I'm like, what's your sign? What's your sign? What's your sign? People probably be like, what the fuck does nigga care about these signs for? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> is he collecting data? Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you know you coming from the hood, people be mistrustful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, my birthday. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, what? <laughs> you tripping? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't be talking to no thugs. Man. Uh, motherfucker just ignored you. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't answer shit. Nigga don't speak. No. Yeah, just looking at you like. What you mean? Oh, Are you asking my birthday? Yeah. <laughs> you know? He might go tap one of the homies. Like, I don't know about him over there, dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, we might, we, yeah, but. No, that nigga's kind of funny. This <laughs> nigga, this your man. But within your own circle, you can operate that way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so like you, Saucy, all of y'all, y'all know each other, y'all mm-hmm. tight circle, you operate with that way. Certain assignments, certain signs do better. Yeah, you're not so, lying. So give them them assignments. Yeah. So it's like, it's certain stuff he do that I don't do and vice versa. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, so I don't give him that assignment. I wouldn't be like, hey, dog, would you? I was like, nah, he wouldn't do no shit like that. Yeah, hell yeah. So either I do it know. or I go find somebody who do it. Nah, facts. That way you don't you know, stop the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Just put man, it in the best per- the best person's hands that can get the job done. Totally. So if you you know, so if you ain't got the time to do it, no, nah, totally. Think about uh, dealing with professional photographers too. Uh huh. So that when you do, if you do go in the studio, it's a lot of photographers, man. They ain't gonna necessarily try and charge you a lot. They'll show up. And what you do is maximize. No, nah, I got a I got a personal photographer though for sure. I do. His name he, he under too nice. Oh God, on Instagram too nice. And don't think think about it as an investment. Share, nah, I share, don't. He my share boy. The, yeah, share that That's money. Like my cousin. Like, and then you yeah. might maximize it. When you go into the booth, have a bunch of pretty ladies come in. Yeah. And then y'all get all kinds of extra pictures. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, some B-roll footage. Yeah. It'll make it look good. Yeah. And that way, when you're paying, you maximize that dollar. Mm-hmm. So you, he's included. In the K major, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you bring you. everybody in and include it in that. So now that 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 cheddar went like ten ways. Yeah, but you yeah. took all these photographers, and the photographer won't mind because he's a photographer. She's a photographer. Mm-hmm. They dare to take pictures. Yeah, they, you know yeah, what I'm saying. And then you ma- and then y'all could always split that cost too. So no now, we're, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That way, yeah, we, yeah. first it looked like oh that way God. ain't no one person like, just carrying in the carrying in the load. Yeah, like we all did it together. Nobody yeah, can't yeah. look at nobody different. Yep. Okay. And y'all already doing it together anyway. I see y'all at every show. Yep. yep. Y'all y'all support each other. Y'all every support show. each other. That's how we gotta be though. Ain't yeah, nobody no, totally. do it but us, you know? Oh, no, yeah. totally. And y'all got a good click, a nice sized group. It could yeah. really grow bigger, keep it real yeah. with y'all. You know, I've been encouraging them for, for t shirts. I just need them to you know, I make logos. Yeah, they've been going crazy. I've been fucking with that shit. You know, so K imagine. Major you, need to get on his shit. He been, he I've been been fucking with him every time oh I see K Major. I was like, "What's up, man?" Today's birthday too. Happy oh, birthday, K Major. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
For real, for real. So now it's man, there's so much potential. It's just once again, which wolf are you gonna feed? Yeah, hell yeah. And that's you know that's what the show turned into today. We talked about business mm-hmm. and music and all of that. Yeah. And so which wolf are you gonna feed? You yeah. know what I'm saying? The so. wolf of fear or love, or the, the wolf of um, a waste of my time and money on what I love <laughs> to do, or it's an investment in what I love to do. You know. Got to make it count. Yeah. And yeah. Once again, don't nothing shake till you move it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shake till you move it. You know what I'm saying? So that little shit, baby. Nah, that's real. Shake that little that's shit. Real. That's real. Make it wobbly, wobbly. Nah, for real. Nah. and uh, <laughs> you can build more energy around that. You can build more energy around that. So any any shout outs or any anyone you want to mention sense. today? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't want to mention nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all though. No. The people know though. You know, you know. Yeah, type. Yeah. You got anyone you want to mention, dude? Yeah, Can you, you want to send anybody like any sites, any um social medias? You want them to follow? It's just myself, Band Gang Duke. Uh, yeah, type in with me. I make music too. Never leave my brother, ho. <laughs> 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 oh, I like that one. You gonna take us out, baby? Yeah. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen. We're closing out. Please like, subscribe, and share it with your family. And don't forget, you saw it. First on Featured, Peace and Love, Mike L. Let's go. I'm blowing chronic smoke in the wind. Going places you've never been, accumulating dividends. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attention and your subscriptions. If you have a business or a service you would like to promote, Or if you don't have one, we just want to come on the show and talk and be a guest on Featured. Please DM us at Featured underscore guests on Instagram. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you. Peace and love.